What's up everybody and welcome to Complete Dive Gear Issue from CDA Technical Institute. This is everything that I got issued to me from commercial diving school and I'm about to show you guys everything that I got. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video if you enjoyed, share the video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions and without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this storm case right here. This storm case is pretty durable. Um, that's why they call it a storm case because it could survive a storm literally. Um, it has five latches. I'll go ahead and open it up. You can almost fit every, all of your gear in here. You can't quite fit everything in here. It's just not that big but you can almost fit all of your stuff um i know i had that concern i knew kind of knew i was going to get a storm case before i went to school but i wasn't sure if all of my dive gear goes in that so just to let you know not all of it will fit in here but it is really big it also has wheels so you can roll it around and it has, you just move this latch over and it has a handle that comes up kind of like a suitcase. It's almost exactly like a suitcase, but just really, really, really durable and strong. So the next thing I'll show you guys is the work vest. Now they call this a PFD, um, personal flotation device. Um, they have areas where they have yellow lines um, painted and if you cross those lines say you're going on a dive station that you're going to be basically where there's no hand railing where the water is um, you're going to have to wear one of these um, they're actually pretty nice and I don't know I like it but it kind of looks um, ridiculous sometimes but I mean, you look professional though. Um, along with that, you get a hard hat, just a simple yellow hard hat. Um, put your name on the back. I'll even go ahead and put it on for you guys. Um, so yeah, most of the time you're gonna be wearing your hard hat and your PFD work vest. Um, and you're also going to be wearing these shirts. You get issued five CDA t-shirts, um, part of your uniform. Um, next, you get issued this um, kind of notebook, kind of like a um, small notebook where you can write notes in it. It's got the CDA logo on it. It's kind of, it's black with the gold. It's kind of shiny actually. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I like it. It's cool. Um, you also get other books like Basic Rigor. It's kind of not that thick of a book. Um, you'll get a The Professional Diver's Handbook. You'll get a core curriculum. Now in this book, you're gonna be reading the first um, chapter, the first day and it's about 90 pages and it's all on safety and it all applies to like OSHA safety so the next book you're gonna get is the US Navy, Navy diving manual it's pretty darn thick you get it all in paper it's all it comes in plastic wrap and then they give you a binder to put it in okay next thing I want to show you guys it's pretty darn heavy. Ugh. All right, so this guy is your 80 cubic foot tank. Now, usually with these these 80 foot tanks, I know you scuba guys um, and gals, um, this is pretty common for scuba diving. This isn't. I was told this isn't very common in the commercial diving world. If you go out with these, because they kind of like have jokes jokes about scuba diving and stuff like that like scuba duba you know like, kind of like oh it's not real diving and everything because it's commercial diving it's a lot 
more um, work involved and everything like that, but um, they usually dive with 50 cubic inch tanks. And if they see, if you go offshore um, commercial diving, like on um, oil rigs out in the Gulf of Mexico, um, if you were, I was told if you wear an 80 cubic foot tank for a bailout tank on your back, um, you're gonna be <laughs> kind of made fun of. Um, you're gonna be called like, hey, why are you scuba diving? Like scuba duba? Like they're just gonna be like shouting like um, comments at you. But so I so I believe why they don't give you a 50, why they give you an 80 is because you do um, scuba diving courses. So it's not pat. They don't do paddy certification. Like I'm already paddy certifi certified. They do NASE, N-A-S-E certification for scuba diving. So you do basic, open water, you do advanced, um, you do nitrox, and what was the other one? I can't remember the other one. But that's the reason why I think they do that is because you're gonna be using this as a bailout bottle on your harness while you're actually doing commercial diving stuff. And you can use the same 80 cubic foot tank to learn all the all the um, scuba diving courses. So they kind of knock two tanks out with one. Um, and then attached to the tank, you're gonna be, well, it's not gonna come attached. Um, if you haven't watched my other videos, go back. I explain um, in, I can't remember what day it was, but it's it should be like day th three of commercial diving school, if I'm not mistaken. But I explained that at the end of the day, we um, do we break out our gear and we put this together. So this these are all individual pieces that you'll be getting. One of them is the safety harness. It's kind of like a safety harness, um, the common one, the general one, wherever you go, like kind of like construction or whatever you know, hard labor job like that, where you have to wear a safety harness. Um, it's almost the same kind of concept, except that you can put a tank on it. So, um, it's actually pretty um, self-explanatory. Now this is upright, the tank, but you actually wear it down like that. So it's the opposite of scuba diving. Um, so the harness is one thing you'll get issued. Another thing you'll get issued is these straps. Turn around so you guys can see it. So these straps are kind of like big buckles, just like on a scuba diving um, uh, BCD, same kind of concept. Um, but on BCDs, you usually get one strap. This comes with two, just so it can be more secure. Um, another thing that you get issued is just this piece right here just a small piece. Um, it's the uh, octopus. And basically you can hook up um, different connections. And this is another thing that you're gonna get. This is your bailout whip. So what your bailout whip does is when you're wearing the commercial diving hat, they call it a hat, um, the big um, curvy scoot, um, uh, commercial diving uh, helmet um, look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about but this hooks up to the back of it and basically if your surface supplied air because you dive on surface supplied air in commercial diving if that goes out for some reason you can't breathe um, you open up your valve for your scuba tank or bailout tank I should say um, so you'll get your bailout whip. This part, this one actually connects to, this comes apart. You'll connect this to the helmet and then when you're ready and you got all your stuff and you put your hat on, you just quick quick disconnect it like, like quickly so you can get in, get in the water and do what you need to do, which is pretty cool. And then you get a pressure gauge um, for the tank. So when you turn on your tank, it'll pressurize this gauge and it'll tell you how much is in your tank. Um, lastly, for this 
is you'll get a shackle. I'll pick it up to show you guys. So one piece is this shackle right here. This shackle connects to this carabiner and this carabiner goes together like that. And then when you undo it, you pull this lanyard. See, see the mechanism comes apart like that. So this right here connects to your umbilical cord is what they call it. So your umbilical cord is basically like four different tubes or lines um, all wrapped up in one umbilical and it's basically what you breathe, what you communicate through, through in commercial diving and it has a like a D ring at the very end of it um, and that carabiner um, hooks into that. So that is going to be basically on your hip so that it's connected to you. So if anything happens, there's um, part of the umbilical is a line, so a cord or a rope, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you can basically be pulled by it and it'll pull your hip and won't pull your head because you have connections going to your head. I mean your hat, not your actual head, but. Um, so that's the heavy stuff. Another heavy item is your weight belt. Pretty hefty duty weight belt, almost like an actual like weight lifting belt, but you can put these big chunks of lead on it. Um, if you're a diver, you usually dive with some amount of weight. This, I believe is eight pounds. So two of them on here would be 16 pounds. And then on top of this, you get two more additional weights. So it's a total of 32 pounds. Um, so this goes around your waist and I'll show you guys. Goes around your waist and then slides in like that, hooks in, and then you just Pull this hook out like that, undo it, comes undone. That's to keep you weighted down at the bottom in case you're wearing like tons of neoprene on your wetsuits. Um, that stuff's super light, so you want to stay down on the bottom so you can actually do your work that you need to do. Um, next. I'll show you guys all the scuba diving stuff. Um, so we, one of the things you get is your gauge. This tells you your um, tank pressure and it'll tell you your depth. So you get that. That's that'll get hooked up to They give you another octopus for scuba diving. So you'll have one for your, this one. One for your um, commercial diving setup. And then you'll have a secondary one for scuba diving um, specifically. Um, the scuba dive, so. For like open water and advanced that I was talking about. Um, so this will go on your tank instead of the other one. And then this is one of the hoses you'll, you'll hook up is your depth gauge and pressure gauge. Another thing you'll get to hook up to that is your second stage regulator. That'll get hooked up. Just a normal scuba regulator. It's got the purge, mouthpiece, adjustment, regular setup. And then you'll also get a compass. It's pretty thick, almost like a watch band. 
and then I'll show you guys. So just a normal compass and it goes on your wrist. So you guys will get that. Um, next for scuba diving is you got your mask. Masks always come in these tubs. And it's actually made by XS Scuba. I don't know. That brand. But uh, it almost looks like my Hollis mask. Same, almost the exact same. But yeah, regular type scuba diving mask. And you will get a pair of booties, scuba diving booties. Um, just normal, regular scuba diving boobies, booties. Um, these go in your fins, if you're not familiar with scuba diving. Um, you put these on your foot, and then you'll slide this in here. And then this, this kind of goes behind your ankle like that and it's stuck on and you can swim. Um, yeah, your fins are the, the next thing I was gonna talk about, but I kinda already showed it. Um, and then obviously you'll get a snorkel, which is what instructors always want you to have. A lot of people don't actually dive with their snorkel. They kinda ditch it after their class courses or whatever, but you get one. Um, next is your first stage regulator. So this is another thing that plugs into the octopus. This guy, another connection that goes in there and your first stage which is actually pretty nice, made by Scuba Pro. Actually looks really nice. I've never had Scuba Pro stuff. I've had Dive Right and Hollis stuff, but not Scuba Pro. Um, for gloves, you'll get this pair of True Fit work gloves. Some guys were wearing these in the water the other day when we did the dive in the swimming pool. And some guys were wearing these gloves. These are called your North Flex gloves. So they're kind of like those gloves that are like the cloth that are like dipped in the like the rubber tipping kind of stuff. You'll get two pairs of these. And I dove, I chose the dove dive in these gloves the other day. Next, you'll get two pairs of safety glasses. You'll get one shaded and the other one clear. That's them right there. Um, nothing special about them. They're actually pretty light and cheap and just nothing very special. They gotta be, a lot of the guys were asking the other day when we got issued these to the people that were issuing them to us. Um, oh, could I wear like my Oakley's or whatever, or whatever they had. Um, but they got to be very, very specific. Got to have the numbers. I can't remember what they are, but they're very specific numbers for safety glasses. Um, they got to be special certified. Um, and they're because they're saying like Oakley's the lenses are shatterproof but the frames aren't or whatever so basically everybody who had any kind of high-end glasses that are supposed to be you know glasses for safety or whatever had to ditch them and they got to wear this kind um, next for scuba diving I think this is the last thing for scuba diving is your BCD. Now this thing is 900 bucks. It's made by Scuba Pro. Um, this is the backpack portion. It's actually pretty nice. And I couldn't believe it because I have a Hollis BCD already. 
and that thing won't fit in a backpack. So I mean, Scuba Pro, you guys are doing something right with this. You guys figured out how to fit a BCD in a backpack. I think that's what I think the reason why is because they have travel size BCDs. Um, basically BCDs that can like fold up um, so that you can take them with you because you're obviously if you're into scuba diving you want to dive in like other countries and take your BCD with you um, so I think that's why it's so compact but I'll show you guys the BCD all completely brand new stuff it's an unboxing video I love unboxing videos. Um, so these are your weight pouches. Um, stick your weights in here. And then I'll undo this so I can show you guys. It's a lot of stuff. Okay, so this And I'll screw it up. Okay. So this is it. Goes on like a backpack. Here's your oh it's got one of these. Usually these guys, um, so you can put air in your it's got a mouthpiece, so you can fill your B C D up like manually. And you just press the button and fill it up. And this one has an actual mouthpiece. I know my Hollis, it's just like a hole that you put your mouth on and fill up your BCD. And here's the bladder on the back. All this basically fills up with your air. And if you're not into scuba diving and you don't know what this is, it's basically a pack backpack fills up with air to keep you neutrally buoyant because buoyancy is a huge part of um, staying at the same depth while you're um diving and yeah and your tank straps to the back so that 80 cubic foot tank will strap right to the back of this and it'll go upright and yeah so that's your bcd and it'll all fit inside your backpack pretty cool okay so your other scuba diving stuff. Oh shoot. Sorry. So your other scuba diving stuff is your wetsuit. Um, you're gonna be getting two forms of wetsuit. One's a bottom and one's a top. This is the bottom. Um, along with both your top and bottom, you get um, hangers super hefty duty hangers i mean look at this these also flip around to be upside down so it can put the top on and then the bottom you can flip these around super hefty duty i know for my wetsuit before going to this school i was using a regular like durable hanger but this thing is actually made to hang up your professional wetsuit this wetsuit particularly you you undo one see these are the shoulders you undo one shoulder you step inside the whole thing you get it up like waist high you get your arm in this side and then this side goes over your shoulder and then it velcros on like that so you have it on like that now your top like I said you get a hanger for this guy too so it's got a zipper and for this one, it's pretty weird also. For this one, it's like a jacket, but a jacket that has one pant leg 
open and a pant leg you gotta step into. So it's kind of weird. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a leg hole right here for your right leg. And then you step into it like that. And then you put the jacket part on. I don't actually wanna put this on because it's super hot. I mean, this thing is five millimeter wetsuit, so. And then what you do is you put it, you zip it up on your other leg, like a wetsuit. And then you put the top all the way on and then you zip it the rest of the way up. So that's your top and bottom. And then you also get a pair of coveralls. Um, I was in the Navy, we wore coveralls on, while well, I was on a submarine, but we're basically almost the same kind of coveralls, um, same kind of material. Ours were just like a blue, like not a dark blue, but like a little bit lighter kind of blue. This is black, um, like, like dress blue is black. I know, it's kind of weird, like dress blues, but dress blues are black for some reason. But anyway, um, basically you got pockets. You actually have like your left side pocket and your right pocket, and then you got a hole for like, I don't know if you have to actually like reach inside. See, it reaches like inside. It's like an actual hole, not a pocket. And uh, cool thing about this coveralls is it has the logo on the back. Pretty cool. Show some pride, I guess, where you're from or got your certification. Oh, the hanger just broke. That's cool. Yep. That's why you got those durable hangers. Anyways, um, okay, so you'll also get work boots. These boots are meant to be worn in the water when you're wearing all your commercial diving stuff. So how it works is you'll basically get into one of those wetsuits, either the top or the bottom, or you could wear both, but it gets pretty hot. Um, the other day, I'll tell you what I wore. I wore in the swimming pool the bottom. I wore the bottom wetsuit, the neoprene five millimeter wetsuit that I just showed you guys. And then I wore on top of that the coveralls. And then I wore um, these boots. Now, with these boots, these boots are steel toed. Um, they're meant to when you do I was told they're for when you do work on the bottom so when you're working on the bottom of the ocean the lake whatever you're working on the bottom so you're walking on the bottom now with these boots you're supposed to wear your issued hybrid socks these are kind of like booties but more like socks I'll show you guys. So they got like some kind of grip on the bottom and you just put them on just like socks. You only get one pair of these and you'll basically slip these on and then wear them with your boots. Now I made the mistake. I was like, oh man, I don't need these because I saw other guys doing it. Um, I'm like, you're not wearing your socks or whatever. And it's like, oh no, I don't need my socks and whatever. But so I followed the same thing and I actually ended up getting a blister. I don't know if you can see that on my heel. So yeah, don't wear these boots without your socks or it's gonna rub your heel on the back of the boot and you're gonna get blisters. I mean, if you're a real tough guy or gal, you're like, oh, I can take a blister or whatever. It's like, I figured there's no point. Like, why, 
why have any kind of injury for like no reason why have that uncomfortable even if it's not hurting you it's just uncomfortable like why have that you know you got a lot to focus on when you're working and stuff like that so don't just be like oh i don't need my socks or whatever just put them on just some advice um and then i think the last thing is you'll get this tool bag so the tool bag is one item that you will get issued along with all of your tools so for your tool bag you'll get an adjustable wrench um, it's a 12 inch adjustable they call it a cushion handle so you get that now um, there are some stuff that I don't have yet um, which is the dry suit if you go back to I think it was my last video day five of commercial diving school I explained how we got fitted or measured not fitted kind of fitted but more like measured for our dry suits um, and so they have to be custom because it's really important that they fit you um, to a T so they measure you so it has to be tailor-made so it takes some time so you don't get that right away the dry suit is 900 bucks that's the most that's the two expensive most expensive things that you're gonna get is your dry suit 900 and then that BCD I was showing you guys that's another 900 um, those are the two most expensive things um, the, another thing that I don't have yet is you get a along with your 80 cubic foot tank you get a 19 cubic foot tank that is your pony bottle so you have a bailout bottle you also have a pony bottle, which is a even smaller bottle um, that I guess, they haven't really explained the purpose of that yet, but I'm assuming like that's another form of life-saving, potentially life-saving um, equipment that if you run out of air kind of type of situation. And this is the sling for that bottle. So looks like a dog leash, not really, but that's what they said um, but yeah it's just basically straps to your pony bottle and then you'll have a handle to hold on to it and then you'll get wire wire strippers just regular pair of wire strippers now these are for communication so you'll have two wires that go in the back of your hat that when you're at 200 feet and you got this 200 foot umbilical cord attached to your helmet and your waist you'll you'll have two of the you have one cable that contains two wires almost like a negative and positive almost like if you're hooking up you know an, a subwoofer um, kind of thing um, so the two wires will go in and then you'll screw them down one at a time so those things um i guess due to the conditions of you know seawater and whatnot um they get pretty bent out of shape the wires so you're constantly using wire strippers to um, fix those wires so that you have nice wires um, because you don't want to lose you don't want to mess with your communication you want it to be as nice as possible so you want to strip the wire and make it nice and clean next you'll get this this guy this guy is super heavy it's like a spike it's like solid metal and it's another adjustable wrench it's called a erector adjustable wrench yeah but you get one of these guys I guess the tip is for like um, breaking knots so say you got a super 
crazy knot and you, you're wearing like gloves and all that stuff you can't really dig your fingers into a knot and pull it apart you can jam this into the knot and pry it open and get it undone um, I guess another thing you could use is to hit stuff with and break stuff off or whatever you got whatever you need to do you'll also get a set of screwdrivers comes in a five set one two three four five a mixture of Phillips and flathead you also get a dive knife so it's different from any dive knife that I've seen if you guys have seen this before leave in the comments but yeah I think it doesn't just open you gotta actually push that little um, button on the back and then it comes out it's kind of stuck I don't know why I didn't take it in the water yet but yeah opens that's the knife and then you push the button back in close it up and it's got a lanyard attached to it this is another thing you'll get issued it's a brass um, quick snap I guess but yeah it's just something else you can hook stuff to you'll get two of these clips so you can attach stuff to yourself and have it kind of like you attach your dive knife to yourself um, and then here's the other clip that I was talking about and you'll get um, five wrenches um, you'll get two 11 sixteenths you'll get one 9 sixteenth you'll get one 5 eighths and you'll get one 17 millimeter I don't know why I haven't gotten there yet but you get it okay and we're down to the last thing so last things you get is allen keys it's on this cool fold in compact allen key keeper and then you get i was told these are diagonal pliers obviously but i was told not to say dykes because it's politically incorrect to say dykes nowadays um but yeah it's got your dike and diagonal pliers and and then it's got a little crimping side on the back we can crunch stuff but yeah that's everything minus the dry suit the 19 cubic foot cylinder we don't have yet i don't know why they didn't issue it to us probably because we don't need it yet so why lug around all this gear and worry about a tank when you don't even need it yet um it kind of would get i would assume it would get all banged up and for no reason um the other thing is a log book now in my other video i think it was day five i was talking about my log book and how um we were learning how to log our dives in there i wanted to show you guys i really did but they had to sign them so we had to leave them there for the instructors to sign off on them as an instructor witness that you did certifying that you did that dive um it's pretty cool it's about that big and um it's hard case or hard shell um and it has the school's logo on the front but yeah, so that's everything you get issued when you go to commercial diving school. Um, it might vary depending on the school, but that's everything that I got. I wanted to show you guys so that you know what you get because when I was doing my research for going to, going to commercial diving school, there's no one on YouTube that was showing everything that you get. So I was kind of second guessing, like what do you actually get? I was assuming that you get a hat so the commercial diving helmet I was mentioning earlier I was assuming that you get one of those 
but you don't. So just to let you know, you do not get the Kirby Morgan hat. Um, what I was told was offshore diving, so on the oil rigs in uh, the Gulf of Mexico, um, you'll have, like you'll be a tender first before you become a diver, then you have a breakout period where um, it's your first time getting in the water and actually working underwater, doing a commercial diving job. And that's when you break out from being a tender to a diver. And when that happens, then you'll need a, a hat. So all the way when you get there. And I was told inland divers, they, the companies, they have a bunch of hats so you don't have to go out and buy your own. So it's kind of a mix um, so I, I assume the school, um, knows that and they don't want to like just issue you a hat if you don't absolutely need one. Um, it'd be kind of cool. I mean, I think that would be the coolest part in my opinion of the gear issue, but so yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, let me know what was your favorite thing that I went over or let me know if you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe and keep up with the next videos that are about to come um, through my journey through commercial diving school. And hope you all have a great one. Peace.